A local couple is on a mission to ban fireworks after their home was destroyed by fireworks. Today, crews started demolishing their home. KEZI 9 News reporter Grace Lim joins us live in the studio to show us what happened. Grace. Renee, just last month, the Chavezes saw the home they built go up in flames. Today, they saw it destroyed. They tell me as hard as it was to watch, it was a necessary first step to rebuilding their lives and to send a message. Bite after bite. When you first started, I think the first time I felt like crying. The Chavezes watched as crews demolished 51 years of memories. Well, it's just so sad to see them take the first bite out of it to destroy it. It's really hard. The day after the 4th of July, flames ripped through the home on Lakeview Drive. This is what the home looked like before it was engulfed. What was once a beautiful white kitchen now reduced to rubble and the front porch covered in ashes. It was so sad to see it burn, but I, I think it's even sadder to see it destroyed at all. The Eugene Fire Department says fireworks were to blame for the two alarm blaze. Just a month before the fire, the Eugene City Council decided not to put a ban on fireworks. Well, had they banned fireworks on June 10 when the City Council met, um, this wouldn't have happened. Now the Chavises are hoping these images would change city leaders' minds. It would just be nice if there's a designated place for fireworks where it's safe because our whole neighborhood could have gone up in fire. Uh, the school behind us could have gone in fire. The estimated cost of the damage done by the fire was $850,000, but a priceless lesson has come out of it all. A teacher at Churchill High School will be using the fire as a teaching tool for her students about the dangers of fireworks. The investigation into where the fireworks came from is still ongoing. In the studio, Grace Slim, KZI 9 News.